Greetings everyone on Marquee TV. We've got uh, one of my longtime friends who I think probably hasn't been in business quite as long up here as I have. Well, 20 years for us next week. 28 years oh, coming nice. up. Uh, damn, I can nice. check. Sandra Oldfield from, <laughs> from Tin Horn Creek. And, uh, well, I, I, you know, anyone in the wine business that's as vocal as, as me is, is sitting to the left of me. So, I mean, we could go on, we can make this video probably yeah. an hour long, but... You were one of the first stores I ever visited. Yeah, a long, long... Many years ago. Many years and ago. my Mustang. When I was driving my, my 66 Mustang, That's right. you are a Mustang fan as well. So That's we right. So that in common. So, so, there you go. So, you want to start yeah. with some wine? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So, so, we're going to put two in bench. two bench white. We um, have. Two bench, call that because it comes off of the two benches in the South Okanagan that we own our vineyards. Um, one is the Gold Mile Bench. For the Chardonnay, the um, Viognier, the Muscat, and the Sauv Blanc, and this yeah. come from, and then the Semillon comes from the Black Sage bench. So unoaked, um, all stainless steel. Chris, it's all stainless steel. Yeah. In fact, we use some stainless steel barrels, and uh, we do a bunch of co-ferments. So, for example, today is our first day of harvest uh, yeah. of uh, our twenty-first vintage. and they're picking the Sauv Blanc and the Muscat for this, and it's going to go in the same tank and co-ferment. Why do, you co -ferment? Why do we co-ferment? As opposed to blending no, after. No, five, with five, we know that four of these five grapes are always going to end up in this wine. We don't yep. make a Vignet, we don't make a Sauvignon. Right. It all goes here. The earlier we can co-ferment them, the more, the quicker that wine comes together before bottling. And it just, it just marries nicely before it ever goes in the bottle. It's pretty so, good. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. It's got this. Um, it's all nectarine, yeah. nectarine, stone fruit nose. It's a little there. bit from the Vigne, I think. It's but you know good. what? It's um, it's a all scallop, all the time wine. If you eat scallops, this, yeah, this is that's by the my pint. favorite. This is by the pint, by the pint, right? I like, I like deglaze a pan with this, and then. Anyway, I, I like this with scallops. So, so it's, it's showing some terroir. What have you guys done in the vineyard to really? Showcase Terroir yeah. BC. I mean, we actually planted for these four of these five varieties after we figured out what um, what grapes go yep. grow best on which property. So we wanted the minerality that comes into the Sauv Blanc, the coolness, the crispness with the Viognier and the Muscat. We knew that had to be on the on the Gold Mile bench. This is really good. Yeah, nice. It's great. Five it's varieties. tasty. Yeah. Okay, Pinot awesome. next. Pinot Noir we've been doing since uh, year one. Um, we're in a hotter climate, so not as well suited for Pinot Noir, admittedly. And so what we decided to do a few years back, um, because we always liked our, our Pinot Noir that was in um, library, the ones that we were holding back, um, you know, and, and it was sold out by that time. And so what we decided to do is hold this wine back uh, for two years additional aging at the winery. So it gets four years age before we release it. It gets one year in barrel and three years in bottle. Much new wood on this? Um, not much. It's probably, well, in this vintage, which was the 2010, probably almost none. I like second year oak yeah, a lot. Yeah. So it by, you know, usually the French that we use for it would be second year and a lot of neutral. Yeah. I like the restrainedness of this. It reminds me of a, a good a good Savigny. It, yeah, you it's, know, it's, it's not over the top. No. and. But again, it's four years old too, so it's got a little bit of the age characteristics that have come into it. So what I like about Pinot, for me, less is more. Too many people are making... There goes my goalie for hockey. <laughs> See you, Chris. Bye, Chris. <laughs> um, too many people want to make a Pinot that's like a Tempranillo or Syrah. Right. And we don't want that. Well, quite often they're blending some of those grapes into it. Yeah, nice, yeah. And, and so, you, you know, I, I want... For me, I want something that's balanced, that's elegant. Yeah. Less is more is the That's business. right. And you know, we don't get the more anyways in the South Okanagan. It's a lighter style Pinot Noir. And so, you know, you got to be true to where you're at. And what we just figured out was we can be, um, we can make a better Pinot if we age it longer. This is impressive. Thank you. It's really good. So I want, this particular wine wow. just actually won a really nice Mackie Gold uh, medal in uh, Germany on a Pinot Noir competition. It's, so, I mean, we got goosebumps. It's, it's probably one of the best pinots I've tasted from the open August and from you. I'm just, just saying that because you like Mustangs and you're sitting beside me. I know. Me. I'm just saying that. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so the last one we're pouring is our Old Field Series um, Merlot. And um, 
With this one, I play around a little bit with a blend, so it does have a little bit of Cab Franc in it and one or two percent Syrah. But um, I smell. You know, we've been making her, a little yeah, long time. Okay. Here, so. I smelled that herbaceous note to it. There's a bit of it. Yeah. Oh, but I like that. It's you know, 2010, for, right? Yeah, it looks a cool vintage. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. However, people think that herbaceous means bad, and it's not. Right. It's only it's only bad for me when it get it's that's predominates it. But at lower levels, if it's in there as a hint to me, it just adds that it just adds layers of complexity to the wine. If the deep fruit is there as well, yeah. it just layers on a complexity. So. Yeah. Leaner style, good acidity, mid mid uh, mid palate, yeah. you know, medium richness. Not yeah. it's not a big over the top myrtle. No, it's, but again, it's three years age, so it's also not fresh out of the, the barrel. It's it's a year and a half in bottle, a uh, year and a half in barrel. I like so. it. It's fresh. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Well, there you right. go, Sandra Oldfield, Tinhorn Creek, and her wines. We've got three more on the left there, but we can pour them. But we can we can maybe we'll do it in in, a, in the next video. Cheers, okay. guys. Thanks. Okay.